Rival Schools is a post-hardcore alternative rock group formed in 2000 by Walter Schreifels. For those unfamiliar with Schreifels, he has had a long, busy career. Starting in the late 80s hardcore scene as a guitarist and principal songwriter in the influential band Gorilla Biscuits, Schreifels immediately proved his ambition in those early days, pulling double duty, joining bands like Youth of Today and others. After the disillusion of Gorilla Biscuits, Schreifels then went on to form Quicksand in 1990, who would quickly cement themselves as a significant influence in the post-hardcore scene after just a couple of albums. Once that band had run its course, although they would eventually reform, Schreifels formed a new venture in 2000, Rival Schools, with this first record United by Fate dropping in 2001 after a year of writing and recording on the road. United by Fate and just the band name Rival Schools is one I've heard cited a lot over the years. Um, Fun fact, if the band and album name do do sound familiar to you, it's because it is named after the popular PlayStation fighting game from the late 90s. Um, Despite the reverence for the record, I never got around to listening to it until just now. I needed to study up as I was given a ticket to the band's recent reunion anniversary show playing the record in full, which was awesome even without being all that familiar at the time although it did have a little imposter syndrome in the crowd of diehards one thing i kept thinking about when listening to this record and i've heard the same thought when um, listening to quicksand as well is just the absurdity of genre labels um Schreifel's albums always sit within that post hardcore category which i can see musically and certainly makes sense given the band members roots in hardcore but Whenever I hear these fuzzy, mid-tempo, layered compositions, I can't help but think that, without the knowledge of the hardcore background, this would make sense in the alternative rock or even grunge category. Schreifel's voice definitely has comparisons to Kurt Cobain, but what I hear is a dead ringer for Ken Andrews from underground and often forgotten 90s alt-rock legends failure. Admittedly, rival schools are a little more aggressive, rough around the edges production wise with some touches of emo in the sensibility and failure have that whole like space rock thing going for them. But both acts kind of play in each other's sandboxes often. And it's funny to me that despite the sonic similarities, but perhaps because of their origins and coming out of different scenes, rarely are the two mentioned together. Failure had been lost to history by the time Rival Schools emerged, so that might have something to do with it. But in 2023, when both acts have done numerous reunions, I'm surprised the connection still hasn't been forged. I think you can also make connections sound-wise with the rougher, more punk approach of Hot Snakes, a group led by similar journeyman band leader Rick Froberg. Rest in peace. Picture a meter with rival schools at the center, and on one side leans that more spacey um, sound where a band like Failure would sit, and on the other, more frantic and punky where you'd see hot snakes. Anyway, I digress. Call them what you want, but I think it's a dead set that if you like 90s to 2000s grunge or alternative rock, if you want to call it post hardcore, you will love this band and album. United by Fate is a blast of high octane guitar rock from the moment it starts with the opening track Travel by Telephone to the scuzzy, fuzzy, improvised freakout of Closer Hooligans for Life. The surprising element that makes this album such a compelling listen though, the band's secret weapon I would say, are the backing vocals. There are several points across the record where these backing vocals provide an almost imperceptible lift to the arrangement. In the case of Travel by Telephone, they mirror the ascending guitar lines during the chorus or in high acetate, adding a real melodic component that opens the song up from the acidic driving guitars in the verse while simultaneously providing its hook. While I don't know this for sure, it certainly feels and sounds like the majority of this is recorded in a live room, which in and of itself isn't remarkable, but when you consider the wide range of guitar effects deployed on a given song, it's really impressive. I'm sure there are overdubs layers present, but being able to get that raw, harsh, out in the garage sound while filling the canvas with so many colors is just absolutely huge and part of this record's character. The track list is dynamic, providing emotional slow burners like Undercovers On and heavy bangers like Use For Glue, and this is vital as even with this variety, the record does feel its 40 minute length. Used For Glue feels like the album's pink, and I find the subsequent tracks less memorable, but 
ultimately there's nothing i could go so far as to cut i can totally see why this record has the recognition it does i think for me as a new listener who's had like two months sat with it and not 20 years and because i can see the parallels with certain other bands from the scene um, that i think offer the same if not more innovation i don't consider it like a holy grail untouchable record but would confidently put this at a very very high 8 out of 10 um, definitely check it out if alt rock is your thing <laughs> 